In one of my previous videos I demonstrated, in a reaction to a challenge by Brian Leakey, that light in the atmosphere bends downward. He reacted with, I conceded the downward refraction, but I pointed out that it is not making objects appear higher. The fish tank demonstration he refers to shows, in the opinion of Brian, that downward refraction causes objects to be seen in a lower position, thus implying that ships disappearing bottom first is caused by downward refraction. As a side note, I can mention that the disappearance shown in the fish tank experiment is caused by the curvature of the bottom of the fish tank, not by the downward refraction. Brian was wrong there, but that's not what this video is about. Anyway, I had to demonstrate that downward refraction causes objects to appear in a higher position than in reality. This is hard to demonstrate in real life, because you cannot control for all variables. How could I prove that what we see in reality over a great distance, over a large body of water, isn't seen at its real position? I could show pictures like this, but that would be begging the question. You can't show that objects don't is disappear bottom first due to refraction by showing objects whose bottom has disappeared. So I had to find a way around this problem. We all, globus and flat earthers alike, agree that the atmosphere acts like a lens. A lens refracts light in a particular way, like this. The bottom part refracts light upward, and the top part refracts, refracts the light downward. Rob Skiba has caused a lot of misunderstanding by publishing demonstrations that uses only the bottom half of the lens, making the light bend upward, something that happens in the atmosphere only very rarely. Brian Leakey has conceded that the light generally bends downward in the atmosphere, and he is right. Fermat's principle and Snell's law dictates that light bends into the denser medium and under the most conditions the atmosphere is denser low to the surface and gets less dense higher up. I made this very simple setup. A little sponge by way of the horizon and the drawing of a skyline placed behind the sponge. When you put the bottom side of the lens between the sponge and the observer, you see the effect that Rob Skiba showed. The skyline drops partly behind the horizon. But this was the bottom of the lens, and the bottom makes light bend upward. A situation that is very seldom seen in itself, and almost never seen over large bodies of water. Rob Skiba has misled his audience a deception that has influenced a whole lot of flat earthers into believing that objects disappearing bottom up could be explained by atmospheric refraction. To show how it really works, I rotated the lens that was cut in two at the middle and put a top half between the sponge and the observer. And now we see the effect of light being bent downward. The horizon goes up, as does the skyline. Objects seen through the atmosphere, which bends the light downward, makes objects appear at a higher position than in reality. Quod erat demonstrandum.